think you're doing? Minding my own business, maybe you should try it. Two bits for tomatoes is outrageous. One bit is the right price. I say it's two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. I insist it's two bits or nothing. One bit and that's my final offer. Have it your way, one bit it is. <laughs> See, asserting yourself can be fun. I guess you're right. So, Fluttershy, do you feel like giving it a try? Um, okay. I need that cherry. Boy, am I glad you have one cherry left. You see, I'm making this special meal for my bunny angel. He's a very picky eater, and the recipe calls for a cherry on top. Here you go. So, you say you need this cherry very badly. Oh, yes. I'm desperate for it. Then it'll be ten bits. Ten? Oh, hey, Mr. Handsome. I know you want to do the right thing because you're handsome and, and strong and big. Handsome, strong guys are always nice to every pony, right? Ten bits for the cherry. Ten bits for one cherry is outrageous. I insist on paying you eleven bits. Eleven bits? Um, I mean nine bits. Uh, now, wait a minute. Okay, twelve bits, but that's my final offer. I think you're confused. It's twelve bits. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Don't give him your money. One cherry is not worth 12 bits. But I was only doing what you did. It was a valiant effort, but you should refuse to give him your business and just walk away. But I can't let Angel starve. He won't eat it unless I make it just right. I need that cherry no matter what it costs. In that case, 20 bits. 20? Oh, but I don't have that much. Then why are you wasting my time? I'll give you two bits for that cherry. So, that's a break, kid. Next time, don't be such a doormat. <laughs> Ta-da! Here you go, Angel. Sorry there's no cherry on top, but the rest of it is exactly what you wanted. Angel? <laughs> Look at me. I really am a doormat. The incredible Iron Will turns doormats into dynamos. Assertiveness seminar today, Hedge Maze Center. As Celestia is my witness, I'm never gonna be a pushover again! Twilight Sparkle, my prized pupil. Hello, Princess. So lovely to see you again, as well as your friends. So, how was the trip? It 
Much traffic? What is this? <laughs> These creatures are adorable. They're not that adorable. I'm terribly honored that you and the good citizens of Ponyville have organized a parade in honor of my visit. Parade? Oh, yes, the parade! Unfortunately, that visit is going to have to wait for another time. I'm afraid an emergency has come up in Philadelphia. Apparently, there's been some sort of infestation. An infestation? Yes, a swarm of incredibly bothersome creatures has invaded the poor town. I'm sorry, Twilight, to have to put you all through so much trouble. Trouble? <laughs> what trouble? Before I have to go, would you care to give me your latest report on the magic of friendship in person? My report? Haven't you learned anything about friendship? Actually, I have. I've learned that sometimes the solution to your problems can come from where you least expect it. It's a good idea to stop and listen to your friends' opinions and perspectives. Even when they don't always seem to make sense. I'm so proud of you, Twilight Sparkle. And I'm very impressed with your friends as well. It sounds like you're all learning so much from each other. Thank you, Princess. Hey! What happened to the Princess? Emergency in Philadelphia. Some sort of infestation. Oh, no! Have they got Paris Brights, too? Well, have Tuba, we'll travel. I think the Princess can handle it. So you knew what those critters were all along, huh, Pinkie Pie? Well, duh! Why do you think I was so frantic to get my hooves on all these instruments? I tried to tell you. We know, Pinkie Pie, and we're sorry we didn't listen. Oh, sorry, 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 real Pinkie. sorry, Pinkie. You're a great friend, even if we don't always understand you. Thanks, guys. You're all great friends, too, even when I don't understand me. You saved my reputation with Princess Celestia. And more importantly, you saved Ponyville. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> this is the greatest blue garden I've ever seen! <laughs> it's the first blue garden I've ever seen, but still! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Pinkie Pie? I thought you appreciated a good laugh. It's different. They're laughing at me. It's hardly different. Your friends laugh at you all the time. My friends laugh with me, not at me. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 Here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I don't think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh? Pinkie? What do you suppose has her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinkie. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. <laughs> no, no, I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. But get to the center to meet the others. <laughs> Forever, but it was worth it. Who knew three little gemstones would turn out to be this handsome hunk of a diamond? 
Now to get you home. Rarity! Are we glad to see... Why are you carrying a humongous boulder? What do you mean, boulder? This big, beautiful, bedazzling rock is a diamond! And it's all mine. Keep your envious little eyes off it! I found it and it's mine, fair and square! Okay, I can do this. I can... No! Oh, wait a minute. Butterflies? Wait! Don't leave me here! Fluttershy, looks like you've been left behind by your so-called friends, huh? Oh, no. I'm certain they're doing their best to find me. Well, it must be so upsetting to know how weak and helpless they think you are. Not at all. I am weak and helpless, and I appreciate their understanding. Yes, well, sure, it burns you up. I mean, that they're always pointing out your flaws, right? Not really. In fact, I think I'm awfully lucky to have friends who want me to be the best I can be. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel! I'm plum tucker dad. Tomorrow, huh? I don't know. Do you pinky promise? <sighs> I will tell you the whole truth at breakfast. Pinky promise. I'm glad we're finally gonna get some answers from Applejack. Yeah, maybe. Don't worry, Rainbow. She's got to fess up after making a pinky promise. Good morning, Applejack. You ready for breakfast? <gasps> no pony breaks a pinky promise! Oh, 
call it to you later. Ready, catch you. Oh, okay. Rainbow, go back. No time. They knew what they were getting into. Twist, I was afraid you wouldn't show up. Sure am glad you came to your senses about this whole cutie mark thing. These things happen when these things are supposed to happen. Trying to rush it'll just drive you crazy. I'll let you be. Looks like your friends want to talk to you. Well, well, well. Look who's here. A nice outfit. <laughs> just some I, uh, pulled together last minute. It really shows off your cutie mark. Oh, wait, that's right, you don't have one. I have a cutie mark. Uh, what, since when? Since, um, earlier today. Oh, really? Let's see it. I shouldn't, I, I couldn't. My cutie mark is so unbelievably amazing. I'm afraid that if I show it off, everyone will start paying attention to me instead of you. I'll shine at your own cute senora. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would be? Uh, forget it. I didn't really want to see it anyway. Okay, well, I'm gonna go mingle. Enjoy your party! <laughs> An amazing cutie mark. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Blank, blank. <laughs> blank, blank, blank. So you got a problem with blank blanks? <gasps> I said, you got a problem with blank blanks? The problem is, it means she's like totally not special. No, it means she's full of potential. It means she could be great at anything. The possibilities are like endless. She could be a great scientist, or an amazing artist, or a famous writer. She could even be mayor of Ponyville someday. And she's not stuck being stuck up like you two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is my party. Why are you two on her side? Because... <gasps> you don't have any cutie marks either? I thought I was the only one. We thought we were the only two. I, for one, think you are three very lucky fillies. Lucky? How can they be lucky? They still get to experience the thrill of discovering who they are and what they're meant to be. And they've got all the time in the world to figure it out. Not just an afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, Apple Do you really Blue. think you can I be wish I could be a scientist. Maybe I got my cutie mark too soon. Oh. Sugar Cube Corner? Well, we're sort of looking for Rainbow Dash so we can hear 
how she got her cutie mark. Cutie mark? Come with me and I'll tell you how I got mine. <sighs> Why not? All right! My sisters and I were raised on a rock farm outside of Ponyville. We spent our days working the fields. There was no talking. There was no smiling. <sighs> there were only rocks. We were in the south field, preparing to rotate the rocks to the east field, when all of a sudden... I never felt joy like that before. It felt so good, I just wanted to keep smiling forever. And I wanted everyone I knew to smile too, but rainbows don't come along that often. I wondered, how else could I create some smiles? <laughs> We better harvest the rocks from the south field. Pinkamina Diane Pie, is that you? Mom, I need you and Dad and the sisters to come in here, quick! Surprise! You like it? It's called a party! <gasps> Today to hear that story. It all happened during the race at flight camp, where I stood alone against all odds to defend Fluttershy's honor. And I saw the rainbow, too. You really think it'll work? They love you for being you. So all I have to do is make you not be you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Guess it's time to see what all the fuss is about. Oh! <gasps> 
attachment to all things fashion. I put to finish have made a terrible mistake. Bravo! I say bravo! Bravo? Who could possibly say bravo to that horrid display? Such attitude, such pizzazz. She's invented an entirely new kind of modeling. Bravo! Who is saying these things? <gasps> it's her. The unicorn in the gorgeous cape and headdress. Now that is a pony who clearly knows a thing or two about fashion. Well, if that fabulous pony likes it, then I do too. Bravo! Yeah! <laughs> than ever. Oh, I'm so frustrated I could just kick something. If only Rarity didn't want me to be a model so badly. Ugh, but Rarity... <laughs> Fluttershy, are you all right? I'm great. I'm a super famous fashion model. Why wouldn't I be great? Because you have... <laughs> Out there on the runway, everyone was turning on you and... Oh, Oh, Fluttish High, it's so awful. I wanted them to. You did? Of course she did, because... Oh. I'm jealous. I wanted all the attention, and instead it was going to you. I even started hoping that you would do something silly so your modeling career would be over. But then, when it started happening, all I could think was... How could I want you to fail at something you love so much? But Fluttershy doesn't... <laughs> love? Oh, Rarity, I hate being a model. You do? More than anything. Then why did you keep doing it? I was afraid if I quit, you'd be mad at me for not wanting to shine all over Equestria. And I thought if I told you how jealous I was of your success, you'd think I was a terrible friend. Never. All this time? If we just told each other the truth. I promise never to keep my feelings a secret again. Me too. Cross, Cross my, my heart, heart and hope to fly. fly. Stick a cupcake, cupcake in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> you were brilliant. Brilliant! I've already got six photo shoots lined up for tomorrow alone. I'm sorry, Photo Finish, but I don't think I'll be able to make any of them. What? We go! <laughs> <laughs> what has just happened? Having read many mystery novels, I know that the only way to discover the culprit is to investigate. Exactly! And as Chief Detective, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, you're investigating? Yes! And Twilight shall be my lowly assistant who asks silly questions with obvious answers. Fine, Pinky. Should we start looking for clues? Silly question, my dear Twilight, because the obvious answer is... Yes? No, because I know who did it! <gasps> Pinky, how could you possibly know? How could I possibly not know? Clearly this dastardly deed was done by the baker, who knew their dessert could not measure up to the mastery of the marzipan mascarpone meringue madness! I guess you feared your eclairs lacked flair! Gustav! <laughs> Tracks, how are you now here? Huh. Guess that isn't a totally silly question. 
And second, the cake hasn't been sliced. It's been bitten. Just look at the teeth marks. Hmm, you're right, my fine fellow. Gustave Le Grand is clearly in the clear, which means the mmm was destroyed by another baker. A baker whose donuts are do nots. That's right. It was Joe. Lorazzi's known in the spy world. Main. Con main. Security system. And Joe is not sleek, stealthy con maid. He's big, gruff, and messy. Hey! Although, you would look rather dapper in a tuxedo. Ah, oh, you may be right, lowly assistant. Maybe? Now that I'm taking a closer look at these desserts, I see that one simply cannot look me in the eye. Pinky, that moose is a moose. Yes! And the mule behind the moose panicked when she saw the mastery of the mmm. So you're saying that the culprit is... Mulia Mott! 